Wow. Let's put it up full mass. My producer Jordan did a great job with this, by the way. I actually think she literally came out the video game, didn't know what the hell was going on. Ma'am, you are in the real world. We don't know the backstory. We don't know why. But we do know she has superhuman strength. We know that. Look at the, I mean, can we go to the video again? Is it possible? Let's just go, let's do it again. Let's do it again. It's a hell of a thing. It's coming. Fascinating. All right, Dan, I'm so glad the individual got away from that thug because it's no telling what would have happened if she gained entry into the vehicle. What are your thoughts? Where, where, where are the police who are arresting these thugs <laughs> right, and criminals exactly. who are who are jumping on the cars and screaming? Like, what was that woman to do? Like, it's, it, it, it was. I was kind of amazed at how she was able to jump on that SUV. They make them way bigger than SUVs used to be, but she gets on there really quickly. That's bold, courageous, immediately breaks the windshield like that. That's really impressive. Um, and shout out to Jordan for that wonderful editing. It's yes. incredibly skilled there. But I, I, I don't get the road rage. I think it's a great case for us to expand public transportation because some people just should, don't have the temperament for driving, honestly. Yeah, and it looked as if she had done this move before. She was. I know what they're doing. It. I know what they're doing at those uh, self-defense courses. They're teaching you those jumps, but uh, <laughs> maybe we should get them in the WNBA or something. This be I great. don't know, man. I, I think that's actually what uh, HOAs teach Karens these days. Welcome to Indisputable. I'm your host, Dr. Rashad Richard. We got a lot happening today. But what do we do on this show? We tell the truth. You know why we tell the truth? Because the truth is simply indisputable. Rashad, great to be here. Congratulations on the new show. And I gotta let everybody know that Rashad and I go way back. Here's the pattern that we see in all of these Karen stories. They think they own stuff they do not own. Now, where does that come from? I don't know, maybe slavery. Maybe they think they should still own black people. This is what happens when Karens weaponize the police. When you're used to privilege, equality seems like oppression. It hits you in a certain way when someone is holding you against your will, treating you like you're a criminal and you're an innocent person. This is something that black people face no matter where they are. A stronger black economy lends itself to a stronger, greater economy. Don't think it's exclusive of you, it's inclusive of you. What's your beef with critical race theory? It adds more fuel to the fire of the racist tendencies that we already have. We have a generation of problem solvers that can remedy the problem if they are properly taught what the problem is. You know who created redlining in this country? Mm -hmm. The white liberal. I, I, don't, I don't give a damn who created it. If it's no, a I, racist I, I, policy, I, racist I, policy. Shelly, here's what, what I don't know. I don't know. See, there you go filibustering, brother. You're scared of this truth, but you're gonna get it though. 